Hi, I'm Ben Macklow and welcome back to Collecting at Home. Today our subject is Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, perhaps one of the greatest artists of the 20th century and certainly one of my favorite. His career was incredibly short. and In fact, he only had a productive life of about 15 years, but in that time he was nonstop. He created nearly a thousand paintings, 5,000 drawings, and nearly 350 of the prints and lithographs for which he's most famous. It is this series, Elle, or Those Women, that I want to talk about today. He spent from 1892 to 1895 living almost nonstop in the brothels of Paris, spending his time with sex workers and their madams, observing their ways, and this series that he created, which only has 12 images, perhaps one of his greatest works of art. Each of the images is intimate, it's not judgmental, but it's also not tawdry. And we are gonna look at them individually, but I want you to sort of think about that as you look at the pieces. Each of them has a debt to Japanese woodblock prints, and you could see that from the flattened perspectives, as you see in so much Art Nouveau. But unlike the work of Mucha or Capiello or Steinlin, Lautrec only put there what was needed. And each of these portraits is really psychological. There's not a lot of extra color, and in fact, if you look at certain areas, there's no color at all. So when you look at these, the colors are actually important. You'll see the color red to represent the sexual act and sexuality in two of the lithographs, but you'll also see whole areas where there's no color at all. And the title piece of Elle, which you see in the top left corner, is quite unusual because there, the man is only referred to obliquely by the top hat that he's wearing and that's been taken off. The woman's taken off her hat as well and she's starting to pull down her hair. So there's no question that she is preparing for her job. But men are not the centerpiece of this. And in fact, this was not a successful series for Lautrec because it wasn't erotic enough, it wasn't tawdry enough, and it didn't pass enough judgment. What it really did was show these intimate portrayals of women that he considered his friends and for whom he was a confidant. And here, the femme au corset shows a woman with a man. She's quite businesslike, taking off her corset and going about what she's about to do. And he looks like he's just petrified. He's holding on tightly to his cane. He hasn't even taken off his top hat yet. And I think it really sort of puts on its end what people thought of the power relationship of men who visited brothels, particularly in this time frame. And his face is distorted in a very psychological way by Lautrec, very much in debt to Henri Daumier, but also showing Lautrec's incredible ability to show how people actually were living through a moment. And I think that he captures a moment quite perfectly here, as he does with the Famo tube. Maybe it's before, maybe it's after the sex acts, but she is, she's cleaning herself off and getting ready for the next part of her day. Finally, the clowness, um, the Chao Kao, who's the most famous of the dancers of the period, represented by Lautrec, is represented in this very intimate portrayal with her lover, Madame Gabrielle. And you could see there that there's a tenderness that Lautrec brought to these portraits. And it really sets him apart from everybody else in the Art Nouveau period. These are not idealized women. They are very specific. They're very emotional. And they're portrayed with a lot of honesty and tenderness. And I really hope that you'll come and see them in person because there's so much more to go over. Thanks a lot and have a great day.